Learning the mental health care system in Singapore while having a breakdown is basically impossible. It is far too complicated for someone who is in dire need of medical attention to figure out where help is and what kind of help they're going to get and all the other relevant details. And currently, such a map does not exist by any official governing body or any other relevant bodies, which is why I have written down, well, mapped out a very informal and very basic overview of what the mental health care system is like in Singapore. So this is not a map per se, it's more of an overview of the process. It helps you understand where help is coming from, what kind of help you're going to get, whether there's parental involvement, what do you need, like what kind of requirements, and yeah, it basically make, helps you make an informed decision about your mental health. So, before we step into the mental health care process, I want to just put out there that this on screen right now is not the only process one can undergo. It is a very general and generalized overview of what the mental health care process is like. First of all, you yourself need to recognize your own symptoms in mental health, in the mental health. Whether you think you need help, that is the first step. The next step is to you yourself seek out a referral from a GP or a polyclinic. That basically means you ask the doctor to recommend you where you can get further medical advice regarding your mental health. So basically a GP points you into the right direction in the healthcare system. The next step after that is to get a diagnosis from a psychiatrist and from there your psychiatrist can outline a treatment plan for you. And yeah. So, section one, emergency hotlines. Do take note of these three things. 995 can be used for medical emergencies of all kinds, as long as it is life-threatening or super urgent. And that includes mental health care crises. SOS is Samaritans of Singapore. It specializes and focuses solely on suicide prevention. Take note of this hotline. The last one is IMH's own hotline. That is also very useful if you don't, you're not very sure where to go and you know for a fact that IMH can help. There you go. But if you cannot remember in the heat of the moment. Just remember 995 can help for mental health care crises as well. So for healthcare institutions, I've broken it out into four pieces. GP polyclinic for referrals, IMH hospitals for treatment. GP and polyclinic, as I said, they basically just talk to you and point you in the right direction. That is the low cost, low parental involvement. But where it's expensive and requires your parents awareness on your mental health situation is IMH in hospitals because I'm pretty sure they are required to alert your parents and on top of that you need the money to um, see a doctor in the first place because consultations fees in hospitals are quite high. But if you do opt for this route, they accept walk-ins, they diagnose you, they give you treatment in terms of psychiatry and medicine, or a combination of both. That said, it is not easily accessible for youths who do not want to have that kind of talk with their parents for whatever reasons, and thus don't have the monetary resource to access such things, which is why I'm recommending chat. Chat is free and online. You fill in a form, so that they can properly assess you into their system. It, they will not alert your parents unless you explicitly tell them to. It is a mental health check program. Basically, they ask you how you're feeling and then after you fill in a form online in the website, they contact you at your preferred medium and basically talk to you about your mental health in complete confidentiality. This is a really accessible thing for youth like us, where they can 
talk to someone who isn't their parents, their friends, or their teachers, and all that. So yeah, I definitely recommend reading more about chat and giving it a try if you want to look into this, definitely. But chat is not your only resource. It's not the only organization out there that helps you with such things. There are organizations such as Limitless, SOS, Sam Hay, Silver Ribbon, Uga Shaga, and Reach. Reach is tied specifically to primary and secondary schools, just be aware of that. Limitless, Sam Hay, Silver Ribbon, Uga Shaga, they're all external organizations. They should all be non-profits. Yeah. Silver Ribbon, Sam Hay focuses on workshops for treatment. SOS focuses solely on suicide prevention. Limitless, Uga Shaga, they give a more healthcare approach, a more traditional approach to treatment, such as psychiatry, psychology, or counseling through phone, text, email, and yeah, and in person. Do Google them to search more because this this is outside the scope of the video. I'm just outlining where help is and yeah, and what kind of help there is out there. So to conclude, this is all the information you need to get started in exploring what is there for a mental health care program. Top left emergencies, SOS, IMH 995. And if you need a non-emergency ambulance, it's 1777. The mental health care process is go to a GP, get a referral, go to a hospital, see a psychiatrist, and then get treatment from there. That is a standard that is not written down, but that is not the only process. Obviously, you don't need to go to a hospital if you don't want to, which is why other organizations such as Reach, Chat, and Limitless Silver Ribbon, Sam H. Ugachaga are out there. They provide an alternative to a more expensive, rigorous mental health care approach. I am not a doctor. Do not take any of this for medical advice. Most of this video is written th thanks to and based on NCSS Mental Health Care Resource Directory, which was updated in 2019. As of the recording, it is up to date, but in the future, it will probably change, and I will update the video if there is such a need. So, thank you so much for watching. I hope you understand the mental health care process better now. And yeah. Any of the materials you want and need, like the links to the websites and the links to the slides will be down in the description, specifically in the comment section below. And if you're watching this on Twitch, um, go to YouTube. Yup, that is all I have. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.